Hello everyone, welcome back to the next installment of uh, Mathematics. My name is Mr. Chai. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and then uh, click on the notification bell so that you can receive the latest video that I'll be uploading. Okay, let's get started with today's topic. The topic for today's exploration is Vector. You can check out the title below. Um, now, specifically, today we are interested to uh, explore the angle made between a straight line and a plane in three-dimensional space. All right. Now, before we get going with this, uh, we have to identify the object that we are interested to work with here. Uh, in this case, we have a straight line purple in color. We will label that as L1. And then we have a plane uh, brown in color in this case. Uh, we will label that as uh, pi uh, just for identification uh, purpose. Mm, now, the objective today is to uh, obtain the angle made between the straight line L1 and the uh, plane pi here. So the angle that we are looking at is uh, theta. So just label that as theta uh, for ease of uh, identifications later. Now this arrow red in color uh, represent the normal to the plane pi here. Uh, we will label this normal as n pi is uh, a normal vector to the plane uh, pi here in three dimensional space, right? And then uh, before that, we will also label the direction of this straight line L1 as N, uh, NL1 vector. Sorry, just let me clean that up. I think that's uh, not a very nice uh, notation. I'll label the directional vector for this uh, straight line as NL1 right, vector. So this represents the directional vector for the straight line L1 whereas the red line represents the normal uh, vector to plane pi okay I think at this point we are quite ready to start uh, to analyze or work out the angle between the straight line and the plane itself now before that I would also like to uh, label uh, make assumptions there is a point uh, a on the plane, for instance, uh, located somewhere here. This point A is located on the plane pi here. And then there's also another point E located on the line, just for our reference. <coughs> so once we are uh, satisfied with this, okay, um, now we're going to work out the equation for, um, for the straight line. Now the equation for the straight line in vector form is given as uh, as follow. So the line L1, I will label this line L1 as uh, R1. And then uh, since this line L1 passes through uh, point E, I will use uh, the point, the position vector E um, in this equation here. So I'll say that uh, R1 or the equation for this straight line can be represented as such. Alright, where the uh, lambda is a scalar value um, that can be represented by all real numbers here. Right? <clears throat> okay, so that will be our general uh, straight line equations for L1. As for the equation for uh, plane pi, we could represent this uh, equation for this plane as R2, for instance. Now, it could be represented in the vector form in such a way. It's R2 product with its own uh, normal. Uh, in this case, it's a normal. And then we do make assumptions that there's a point A on the plane pi uh, with a position vector a for instance all right now therefore this would be the equation for the plane in three-dimensional space given by this equation here all right <clears throat> okay 
Now before we continue further, uh, I would also like to label another angle make uh, between the normal to the plane and the straight line. Let's call this um, let's call this alpha. <clears throat> Now, uh, by using this angle alpha and beta, uh, we know for sure that um, theta plus the alpha uh, must give us a 90 degree angle according to this uh, setup here. Right? And then uh, don't forget, uh, sine, uh, let's, uh, let's say that this is uh, so in this case, uh, if you are interested with the uh, theta itself, theta can be written as pi over 2, subtract off with alpha here. And then if you are interested to get the cosine, so the cosine is given by, hold on. So the cosine is given as a cos pi 2 minus and then uh, this is actually given by a sine alpha, right? So we can actually write cos theta as given by sine alpha in this case. Or, or we could write in this sense. Other than cosine, we can also represent this in terms of sine. For instance, we can write this as sine theta is given by sine pi over 2 minus alpha which is exactly the same as cos alpha right. <clears throat> so there are many ways we can actually uh, make use of sine and cosine in this case uh, for our uh, concern here uh, we will be using uh, sine theta equal to this so i'm going to keep this equation here uh, later on we will make use of this right. <clears throat> okay now, uh, by using a dot product or a scalar product between the normal and the directional vector for line L1, we can say that, uh, in this case, we can say that uh, what we have here, we can say that n pi by using a scalar product, so the product between this uh, normal vector and this directional vector is basically given by this cos the angle between the normal and the directional vector for line L1 which in this case is alpha <coughs> so here we can um, rearrange this so that we can uh, have the uh, cos alpha as our subject Okay, there you have it. Cos alpha is given by this. Now, um, next, we're going to make use of equation number one. We know that equation number one represents cos alpha, which at the same time, it also represents sine theta. So sine theta. Theta is the angle uh, produced between, or angle made between the straight line and the plane pi here. And then this is exactly what we are interested to uh, find out today. Right. Now I'm going to write the conclusions over here. Uh, therefore, we can say that sine, therefore, we can uh, conclude that sine theta, sine theta is actually given by uh, cos, theta, uh, cos alpha, which is uh, directly given by this. So I'm going to write that down. And then uh, there you have it, uh, the angle made between the straight line and the plane pi uh, can be given by these uh, equations of sine theta. And then uh, of course by taking the arc sine uh, of uh, theta, we will be able to find out the angle here. 
let's assume that uh, the angle that we are interested to work with here is an acute angle. So therefore, we can say that. Uh, maybe I'll write it down here for reference. Uh, therefore, we can write down angle here is given by the arc sine of n pi. Alright, now that's how we evaluate the angle produced uh, between a straight line and a plane pi here by using uh, trigonometry. <clears throat> now, that's, uh, that's how we apply a vector uh, methods to solve for angle made between a straight line and a pi. I hope this has been uh, a very useful information for some of you who are uh, learning vectors. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, again, if you like uh, this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up or don't forget to click on the notification bell. Until I see you guys again, all right. Adios.